I wish good things to you who's watching this. I am Alexi and you are most welcome to episode 3 of Speed Run, a series of videos in which I measure the journey from complete beginner to Carcassonne Master with my new and secret second account on Board Game Arena. And we're going to start with this turn-based game uh, that I started by accident, so I sort of had to finish it. Uh, we're just going to get over 200 in a moment. This is the last move. Um, so if you are a beginner or an intermediate player, it's actually a good moment to exercise. Just simply figure out what's the best move for red. Try to do it quickly before I do this. I'm playing red now instead of my usual yellow because I didn't bother changing any settings for my new account. So you can see here I could take a four-point road. I could take a three-point field or a three, another three-point field. There aren't any fields elsewhere. And I could also take this three-point, a uh, four-point road as well. But this four-point road is better because it also brings in these two field meeples into the main field and the main field that's right it's mine because i have a four versus two one two three four five six majority so i will be expanding my main field eating up these two meeples so adding four points for the road and three points for the city uh yeah so now of course yellow at some point will have to Plays the modest over here, have uh, their seven points, and then with that, um, they're gonna give us the win and some rating points. So, for the most part, we're going to be playing in arena mode when a board game arena stops glitching, which probably is going to happen never. So, to remind everybody, last time uh, we did. Get a bit of a speed bump we didn't lose but we finished with a stupid draw and um i don't think it was our best play so now i made i've made sure that this is not the middle of the night that i've fastened my backdrop slightly more securely than last time i'm going to try to avoid any speed bumps this time and hopefully climb to 300 quickly enough once we get paired up with an opponent. Okay, this was quick enough. I'm not familiar with this player. Uh, actually, maybe this time I'm not even going to bother looking up their rating. Let's just simply try and play the position. Don't bother playing uh, the player. And possibly this is even the right approach. Although I've mentioned before that I like to slightly adjust my playing style depending on whom I'm, pl I'm playing with. Uh, there are several subtle movements. This, by the way, is um, is the best response to this because I am uh, threatening to put this road into a ring. Yeah. And so you see now, oh, also actually a bunch of good options. I could go here, but I think the best option is this uh, because it secures our road and then with two more tiles I'll get my meeple back. I'm not too worried about this road being blocked because there's still uh, seven crossroads remaining and an, an alternative move i could do is uh go this and go here just to grab the piece of this piece of road and i rather like it too uh this move i'm not even considering it's it's rather weak and slow because i will be adding one like two points to my road one point indirectly but this road is still vulnerable so oh actually securing it from this side maybe slightly better um, all right, let's see what our opponent has. Well, yeah, so this is precisely like one of the reasons why I could have considered, um, why I was considering, in fact, taking this road so that they can't take these points. But then had I done that, they would have taken these two points and then I would not be able to loop my road here. The only correct move is to start a new city and not let red finish his city even though i'm investing two points and red in, is investing one point so you you could think that i shouldn't be sharing the city but actually the city is um rather um not particularly valuable because I'm only investing one tile and I'm investing a tile which is of worse quality than the city cap. It's a concept that we might talk about 
a little bit later in a general strategy video, like the nominal values of tiles, it does seem that it's rather an advanced concept. Now, I should not be attacking this city because it, it looks juicy, but then I don't want to create a big ruin uh, because there will be always room to re-attack and I will be just investing more moves in my opponent. We will end up sharing the city anyway, and I'm seven points behind, by the way. So we should just start a new city in a safe place. And then... Um, well, we're not going to manage that. So they should be connecting to the city, of course. Facing with the straight line there. Uh, yeah, so, so far... What's their rating? I'm not sure what their rating is. Uh, we're go oh, we're going to try and do like a guess the, a guess the LO, maybe near the mid-game. I don't have the information, but so far they're doing everything correct. Oh, now it's a difficult, very difficult tile to play because I don't seem to have much value. I could place it over here, trying to... But then at the start of the game, it's it's not really saving, saving my road. I'm okay with it being temporarily um, hindered. I think the best move is this. So it has two purposes. One, it prevents my opponent from connecting to this city. It kind of kills off a connection spot. And two, uh, minor issue is that it actually blocks the square. It restricts the square, which could create a platform for attacking my city. It's very marginal value, but it's it's not nothing. So actually, and, and look at that. My opponent had the exact tile with which they could attack the city. So it turned out just perfectly. Uh, I also have a fantastic tile. And um, so now we're going to talk about patience. Of course, I could go here and take three points. It's not a bad move. But I think it's not the best move because I would be leaving an empty city cap. And there's still many other tiles that fit there. So I'd rather take two points over here and prepare to finish my city and at least create that threat. Um, rather than do anything else. Now here comes a problem. Because we can't really attack the city because we're instantly making our own road vulnerable. And then I don't really want to go here. Because then we are we because because then we could get two meeples trapped. You see, this road is a bit more vulnerable than normal because we're really looking for only one type of tile, only one of the four remaining T-shaped crossroads. Because two of these guys are out, two of uh, the city caps with a crossroads. So what do we do here? Do we just go? Aha! Uh -huh. I don't really. I think. Putting a second meeple would be a bit greedy. I think I'd rather just harass the city a little bit. Even though it turned out to be kind of useless. Well, actually it's not entirely useless because now they need to choose between sorting out this city and attacking my city. Yeah, and you see they ended up, ended up attacking my, my city, so it turns out to be alright. Now the question is what should I do with this? I, now there's a problem that I need the same tile, tile everywhere because it would be nice to attack the city. It would be nice to start a ring, ring road. It would be nice to just untangle here. But I think I'll just have to um, equalize. Like I don't want my opponents ex exactly to be con uh, to be completing um, any six point cities. Okay, so now finally comes, I think, the first misstep, slight misstep of the opponent. Uh, it's a good move, you just need to turn it the other way, especially when you're leading. I mean, now now they're going to get lucky because they're going to get the city cap and the curve, uh, and I don't have... Uh, I mean, you can't really complain about, like, a road monastery, but... Mm. But yeah, but typically you shouldn't really be leaving uh, empty things around... But yeah, I, I could very well start this game with a loss. It's it's not it's not entirely impossible. So there are two good monastery spots. I think I want to fill in this one. And then hope for some curves and try to build some roads. Of course, of course, of course. 
they're going to take this city cap. Unless they want to separate here, which would I would just love for them to do. Now again, a problem. I could go here, but I have other urgent priorities. I need to like clean up stuff here. I need to take these three points. Uh, yeah, I think I need to clean up this clean up the city cap first. But then he gets this, so. Okay, good. I'm I'm quite happy with this move actually. Now, there's only one divider left. We could place here, we could place here. I'd rather place here and try to block off here and win a mini battle. Um, but yeah, my opponent had, had, has had so many quick points that uh, now they're also going to have three points for this road. It will be actually quite tough for me to win. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna win this. I now the problem is also I can't really use um, these tiles, so I think I'm just gonna put it here, and uh, hope that you know I'm gonna be the first one to get something good here, and I am. Uh, I'm gonna get a meeple back. Then maybe we can manage to block this square and have a, an, an advantage in this mini battle with five points for green and two points for red. So I don't think I should do this. We just need to get a meeple back ASAP. And we're not going to drop on the field because the field is pretty closed. Okay, now I'm getting slightly better tiles. Um, but as soon as I said this, he's, he's going to grab some points. Yeah, it is a bit unfortunate. Not the best timing. Now, I should not be attacking this city, I think. Uh, I should just be waiting for a curve and trying to block it off. I shouldn't be building the city. I should just patiently waiting, seeing what's going to happen there. Now, I think the best move is something like this. Or this, actually. Hmm. Now, this is not good because it creates a dangling road. But this is good because it creates a scoring opportunity next to my monastery. Add one point to my monastery. I think we have to go here. So now it's time to attack this space soon. But how do we do that? Uh, so we don't have the tiles to do this. Also, there aren't actually too many tiles that fit over here. Um, well, one of the reasons why I sort of had to make this move because this was the last starting tile, so this square was quite threatened. Let's see if we can sneak in a bigger city over here. Not not the best timing, not the best timing at all. Hmm. Yeah. I could go here. But I think going here is slightly better. Because then I am sort of threatening to get a meeple back soon with this. Not sure about the equity for well, one of the things that I accomplished with this move, at least they did this and they weren't um attacking this city. Attacking the cities, incidentally, is something that I could have done maybe. Okay, do we do it no, we can't start risking here because it's blockable in one move. But what about I think we need to start doing something radical. So we need to either meeple the monastery or maybe meeple this road and then hope to score some good points with that. Hmm. But we definitely we also could do this, although it's no, it's it's super vulnerable. Man, it looks like I need to just engage in super risky behavior in order to win this. I could also go here, but this is not the best monastery spot. This also, they, all the monastery spots are awkward somehow. And if I if I lose this meeple, then I'm stuck with one meeple. Maybe if I go here, is that is that bad? And just hoping to get this one pretty soon, because I am behind more than I would like to. 
and I am dependent on a on a couple specific tiles. Also, I can't really score quick road points, which is a problem. I could also go here. All right, I think I'm gonna follow with my guts and just go for the risky play. Use the monastery as a piece of road, and the uh, rationale here is that I'm gonna be scoring a bit extra when uh, I get one of the road crossroads, if I get one of the road crossroads. Yeah, it is indeed very risky because I could lose both of these meeples, but I do feel that um, we need to start get something going. This is fine. Uh, the, the chances of getting this meeple back weren't high anyway. Uh, so I think we can just add one point to us, slightly harass this road over here. Uh, that's okay that this guy is going to get blocked. We really can't do that much about it. Interesting situation where my opponent doesn't really have an opportunity to score a two-point road. So, uh, except for here, which of course I'd love to. Well, they can use this tile to block mine. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny how that works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we need to start getting some good tiles, I guess. It looks like my opponent is actually playing pre pretty well. Uh, I'd say they're rated around 400. Okay, good, 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 good. So they're threatening to attack the city, but I would... One, two, three, four. Or should we just try and, and pre-build this? What's more important, saving saving this attacking spot? Well, then we, then we should calculate tiles. One, two, three, four. There's this, 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 this. They aren't actually this many triangles. So I think if they try to connect, we can try blocking them. And here we can just sort of save this place. Yes, 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 yes. We get a meeple back. This is huge. They're gonna get a meeple back. We're gonna get a meeple back. We're gonna have two meeples. We might even consider meepling some fields. We could be the one to attack this place over here. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, still a bit of an uphill climb. And still we're predicated on certain tiles. Still, I think it's way too early to farm. And yes, we get the thing, the important thing. Now, what I hope is that they're going to do is that they're going to waste a move trying to attack this, even though that would be a decent move. <clears throat> By the way, note to self, zero of this kind of tile remaining. So that later, uh, the counting for us becomes much easier. Hey, look at that, they're gonna do something. I mean, they probably might meeple a field, I guess. But since they're two six-point fields, we can always um, grab the other one. This one, the field on the left is... Oh, yes, perfectly, and they even... I mean, it's a perfect legit move, uh, because they were threatening to block. And now comes that situation where we get to score for all these pieces of roads. It was this these bits, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, like, 13 points and look at us look at us one two three four five yeah so that's a problem they now will they will now attack the city and it's it's an issue it's an issue indeed and uh we should do something about it real soon luckily one two three four five luckily there are actually very few triangles left there's one triangle left which fits here. And then they are the regular triple city. So I guess if we do something like this, we can try either start building a new city or one, two, three, four. Uh, or we could just go here, I guess. Um, yeah, because ideally we want to try and prevent him from connecting there. Because uh, if we can get any straight road here, this meeple will be completely blocked. This is one of the reasons why I wasn't like super concerned about this move. Although if I do manage the connection, then we will be behind again, which is a problem. How many city caps are there? One. There are at least three regular ones. There's the divider. 
I think this is the slightly better move. Because like, no, they can't do this. Oh, like that, huh? Hmm, that's the problem. Like, I kind of wanna... One, two, three, four, five. I think I have to do this. I think I have to do something like this, and I try to get that meeple back. Uh, because they could get the suit a suitable tile on the next move. And this is something I would dislike strongly. Now, will they score four points for this guy or not? That's a good question. But all I know is that I'm going to be trying to um, get this guy back on the left. Because now this is going to be like a very tight game where we're going meeple for meeple. Because now 35-35. And um, if I get this guy back, I actually have the advantage. Because look at that. If we look at block, meeple here is this guy for six points. I have for eight, so I'm at plus two. This guy has one point... Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, I mean, that that's a decent move, actually. It's, it's not a bad move at all. I could try to do something like this even, but I don't think it's quite going to work because there are still triple cities. And I don't want to waste to move like this. So I think just building my own is the correct move. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They're going to they're gonna have the triple city over here. Now it's a good question whether we need to meeple anything. I think we might have to, we could go here uh, and and there's an off chance that we actually get to complete this, like road, road, this, but then phew, we're going to be playing with one meeple for a long time. I don't know how much I like that actually. It's a decent monastery though. We could, oh, we could also go here. Uh, we could also go here. I don't think I need to meeple monasteries necessarily to win because then I would be relying entirely on quick points. We would need, uh, we would need a second meeple to start cities, I guess, because there's still a decent number of city caps remaining. Yeah, and this I think r does restrict this meeple somewhat. Okay, perfect. Yeah, good, 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 good. So just doing something. Uh, well, I mean, it's bad because they got the tile that I needed. Uh, I mean, had I taken this tile, this would, been, this would have been just an outright win. But now it's going to be a bit of a struggle. Ooh, ooh, that's great. Oh, great. I don't need, I don't need to worry about this guy. That's so cool. Um, okay, that's good. That's good. So now I just we hope that he doesn't get this meeple back. I think first of all we could secure this space um, to just get this mini battle for two points. And then we could afford to win even if he gets his meeple back. Okay, okay, okay. So now it's dead even, I think. And I have a move. Uh, I could take a field, but it looks like a trap because it's always possible to do later. It's easy to connect to this field. And it's not a big field at all. I could take this five point road and take a bit of a gamble um, because there are still three. Or I could take this road actually and then drop a former. The reason I'm keen on taking roads is, be is because there's still three road ends. On the other hand, it's quite easy to get uh, trapped. Okay, let me think about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. That's that's the kind of risks that, that win you game sometimes. And the thing is like... He, he can't really block because this is not blocking, this is saving. And one of the reasons why I did this I didn't quite cover is I calculated that there were very few blocking tiles remaining. Because the idea is that all the... Um, so all the starting tiles are out. So actually we're quite concerned about him having uh, like a city tile that constricts this bit. 
to the uh, to the starting tile. But the thing is that all the five triangles are out, all the two dividers are out. I think uh, a bunch of city caps, like three out of five city caps, are out. And even if he gets a city cap, it's not a good a good blocking tile, because then um, I'd get immediate compensation. Uh, like if if he blocks with a city cap, then it, he still sort of weighs the potential of a city cap, and then this meeple starts being worth not five points but actually seven points because he didn't spend the city cap on itself. But now we get the meeple back, and uh, well, we don't meeple anything. Oh, this is huge! Uh, if they meeple this. Unless they meeple the monastery, we sort of we kind of win on the next move. What do we do if they meeple the monastery, though? Oh, okay, that's perfect. Yeah, they they could drop a farmer. That's fine. Uh, I will I will try to connect to one of those field fields. I think. Uh, let's see. I I wasn't keeping track of course, but I think there should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, there's eight. Okay, cool. So we take these three valuable points, and then the next thing is uh, okay. They get two points, so we should be um. Yeah, we kind of need a. Uh, something good to drop another farmer actually maybe the these would be quite nicely placed mm, in some scenarios he has three six point fields but i think the fact that i took these six points and a meeple back that's that's just super huge that's a strong move actually so it makes it harder for me mm, to take fields i think the move that i can make is just take um take the one point connect over here equalize this mini battle and other, other than that there's just not much to be done mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah that's that's decent it doesn't really do anything okay 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 so now we just need to see how many city caps are there remaining and from memory i can tell you there's one regular city cap and there's two city caps with a turn i think one two three four I was correct. Check oh no, no, one city cap with a turn. But you see tile tracking, it works. Remember my, my previous video. There are two city caps. Is that worth dropping a farmer for that though? I'm not sure. So there's a regular and that. We could I guess go here and uh, threaten to take a field. Uh or we could just go here actually. Yeah, and threaten this field. Let me see. So we're at plus three, uh, plus five, plus two, plus seven. Yeah. So we're at plus one and a meeple. So we really should be chilling, I think. Unless my opponent gets this juicy road. Whoops. Good that they didn't kick me out of the game. I turned off the sound effects for, but I'm uh, quite fortunate in getting that crossroads. So we're chilling. So I calculated that there are two city caps left, and so all I needed to do is uh, to to make sure I have the victories either to grab, to be the first one to grab. There's one city cap left. I uh, man, you see, sometimes it's a bit harder to calculate the caps where you have. Uh, a meeple on it and that's the one that I missed. I think I should have actually mentioned that in my tile counting video that you got to double check the tiles on which there are meeples. Well it's actually it doesn't make this move wrong it's because I don't really have much else what I can be doing. Oh beautiful. Four points with no investment of a meeple and a farmer goes here on the next move that's just fantastic. If they want to be savvy, I guess they could block off this field, or they could um, maybe block off the city cap or something. Yeah, that's decent. So I think now we have um, four tiles remaining. We don't have time to calculate them all, but I think one of them should be a curve, one of them should be a city cap. 
And there will be no other city tiles. But then... What else? Oh, I forgot about those, yeah? I forgot about those. Well, I guess it's sort of good for me. <laughs> well, I mean, my opponent still get, gets the one point. Um, there is nothing really to be done. Sure, I just created a monastery spot for my opponent. I don't know. I mean, it's it, it's fine. It's fine. Because they can't really score uh, more than this six-point point field anyway. Yeah, they can get a six-point monastery. Yeah, like... By the way, it's it's such a poor move, like literally any other move, but that's what happens when you... Uh... Oh no, the move is fine, I guess. It, yeah, I forgot that there were two of those. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, obviously they can't put them over there. So we should be winning by f seven points, I think. Ooh. Yeah, seven points. This one wasn't easy at all. Um, embarrassingly, I wasn't I wasn't controlling the... Well, I was, I think, in control of the final scenario. Kind of, I knew what needed to be done to sort of to wait until the last moment to sneak into the six-point field. And... Um, Oh, wow, they are 145 rated. They played tremendously well for this rating, I think. Um, yeah, they played pretty much like a 400. I don't think they did anything like outrageously stupid or anything. Um, just some minor missteps. And also sort of their general strategy, I think, was pretty much on point. Well, okay, well, I guess, like, this was uh, this was a, a mistake that, that cost them the game. Because uh, they should be very happy with just having, blocking this meeple. But, no, they, I mean, they play actually really well for 145. And which also means that we don't get that much. We get 26 points. I guess we're still on... So the, the draw that we had in our previous video didn't cost us that much. All right, all right, all right, all right. So what else interesting happened in the game? Um, I think another f important factor for us to win was the fact that we were very patient with the fields. We had to recognize that they have very little potential. They're just, and they also have multiple attacking points. Um, and also like six points is not a lot for a meeple invested. It's something that's okay to do in your last or penultimate move. But given that there were still monasteries remaining, like why? invest a six-point meeple into a field when you can invest a six-point meeple into a monastery and still potentially get that meeple back. So Red, of course, correctly got their six points for the monastery at the end, but maybe they, they, they could have won somehow. Also, we got a little bit lucky, but I think the thing that secured us the game was that, yeah, we had to take that risk with the road. So this six points, that's the main difference over here. If you can... Like if you feel that you're slightly behind or if the game is sort of tiled, you can look for opportunities where to where you can score points and get your meeple back. Because like in this equal meeple game, really any situation where you get you can get a meeple back is just huge. And in this case, these six points um this six points gave me a lot. Also, I realized that actually was a bit riskier than I thought because I had forgotten about this tile. I had forgotten about these tiles, which also could have been used for blocking. But hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. Um, you can't... Since I was significantly behind in that game, I had to risk quite hard in order to win. Now, um, I think we're going to try to do three games per day. They're going to do us some... Board Game Arena is going to give us some uh, uh, dopamine-inducing animations. Guess we can officially think of my second account as a good player. Good to know. And we're paired up for our second game. This time it... Uh, Took a bit of a while. 
Again, we're not going to look at the player's rating. I think it's more interesting that way. Just play the position. We have only one legal move. That's a great start for my opponent. Now here you could do interesting things. So yeah, this is of course a mistake. I think they're rated like... Um... Actually, no, this is not a mistake. I mean, no, no, it is, it is. It's, it's not the best move. But, like, it's not it's not a horrible move. They still take the only road in, on the position, and they um, do do this. So, the adding the city cap is a bit... It's is not that useful, because the city still has two attacking points. Well, if it has two attacking points, we might as well attack. Like, what we're gonna do? Are they going to re-attack? I think they should. Then I'll have to attack myself, I guess. And we're going just to start a um, huge city. But red will have an advantage due to this road. Yeah. I'm not sure if I should have attacked from, from this side instead. I, th I think it's fine. Uh, because I was sort of threatening to... Actually, should I re-attack now? Or is this tile too good? I think this tile is too good. I can do this later. I think I can wait for worse tile. And like case in point, uh, so it's impossible to fully benefit from the tile that I just drew unless I have a meeple on a on a city cap. This was a, this is a good move by my opponent as well. And the reason why I'm not that in a hurry to attack the city because it will have many attacking points. Well, it has only one attacking point now okay now it's a bit of a threat because there are two dividers and actually <laughs> my opponent can really really score some good points but other than the divider okay there's also this problem uh and we shouldn't go here we shouldn't go here well we still have the two attacking points they're the same but the city is not closing imminently we get to block this guy with a 75% chance, and kind of even if they get the tile that fits here, there'll be an immediate reblock. So this meeple is unlikely to come back anytime soon. Now, now here's a good question: What should we do? I think I think we could do something like this. We are risking giving them three, three free or three three, three three points, free, three points if they get uh one of the two remaining tiles but i think we still have to do this to secure uh the off chance of them hitting the divider soon and um it's getting yeah man this is getting problematic i think i should even should i do this already i think i should uh, yeah, I, I think the two points are not that important. We just really need to make sure that... Um... The city is not finished. Although I'm not really sure about that one. I could also go here, but no, this is just too juicy. Because then if I finish this city, I can sort of even allow them to finish this city. This move has, like, one of the reasons why I was, uh, why I sort of wasted the two points here is because it really does take a lot of tiles away, uh, and it also creates a platform to, uh, to attack this city as well, and also if I get a Rodan that I could score two points here and create a blocking platform, so it's all, it's, it's fine. Like you could you could you can play like this. Uh always here, so we're threatening to either connect or or block. Obviously not with this tile. Which is gonna get a meeple back. And we're going to soon drop a second meeple. 
Okay, so do they know about defense or not? Oh, but that's great. So they need to either place this over here or to defend this tile. That's fantastic. I guess if they still defend... Wow, they're good. Shit, this is not bad at all. And they still have like a 50% chance to get this tile and like a 90... 4% chance to get this. So they could be finishing this city, but if they stay without Meeples for a long time, I think that would be very good for us. Now, this is a very, very interesting question. I think I should leave this alone because if my opponent blocks the city, there will be still two tiles remaining. I think I should do something about this hole, but just not with this tile. It, it, it just doesn't work exactly as well. We could use my Meeple Majority, at least my Temporary majority, majority, to start a huge field. I think I rather like this option, actually. Why not? Yeah, here comes the stuff. How to block correctly. One, two, three. They are, there is a considerable number of straight lines. Uh, well, a curve fits here too nicely. Although if my opponent gets a city, that would be quite bad. Okay, let me think. Actually, let's try and really, really get those probabilities. So, hmm. How many blocking tiles? How many saving tiles? One, two, three block. Yeah, this is just not... How many blocking tiles? I think this is the idea. So that in case they get a curve, they don't get the extra four points, and I get the extra four points. Now, of course, seven points here are juicy, but this is so sensitive um, that we just have to go here. Because it just does do so much for my win probability. It does a lot for my win probability, in fact. Yeah, like I invested the entire meeple. I I had to to secure this, but then if they get this, uh, I think I should still be fine. I'm still gonna have um, not for a long time, but I'm gonna have the meeple majority for a while. Always nice to have the one remaining bit with the shield. Uh, so when they get theirs, there's gonna be there's gonna be without a shield. We're gonna drop a second farmer here soon, but first, this. They would have gotten it. They would have gotten it. Yeah. So that why it was uh, it was important to complete that block. That block, 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 block. And even if I don't complete my city, it will require my opponent's attention again. Which is good, which that's what we want. Now we could go here, I think, would be a good way. Also, here is a decent way. Try to bring in two meeples at the same time. Ah, look at that. All right. You want to fight for the fields with a meeple minority? Sure, sure. Uh, so this is why I think we should respond pretty soon, even though it's a blockable position. But but they are all blockable. Like, it doesn't matter. And it's it threatens to connect at two points, so... We still have to try that. And in case it gets blocked, I can start a new field. There's still one city splitter. At least that's something. Good. Good, 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 good.
Yeah, that's an understandable move. We could try block them, but I think it's not necessarily like the best move. I could also go here. One, two, three, four. There's six triangles. It's pretty nice. But I can do this later. I think it's also nicer to go here just to clean off the city cap. There's still a sizable number of those. Yeah, exactly. Just to prevent my opponent from scoring immediate four points. And now they're forced to spend their last meeple, which I don't think they should have because there was still time. They should have gotten their meeple back. Um, yeah, I anticipate they're probably between one and two hundred. Well... I, w I, w I would say they're probably around 200 rated, that would be my guess. Okay, yeah, that's fine. The connection, we're going to look to reconnect soon. Now here we're going to try and block off that place. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very close to blocking that off. Should we just do it? That's one point, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not eight though. If we, because we're ahead, we're gonna assume that my opponent's gonna get lucky like every step of the way. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Three, four. Yeah, okay, and now we're going to try to do this. Oh, look at that. They can actually block me fully. And I can't do anything about it. And they have a majority on the field. Well, well done, well done. Although I will have uh, something from the second city cap. It's not nothing. There will be another connection spot over here, for example. Oh, but that's fantastic. So th they sort of saved this connection, which is also understandable. I don't think it was that important, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm now threatening to get a meeple back over here, but I don't think they're going to let me. They will, which is great. So now I'm just looking to maybe drop another meeple on the field. Or the question is, can I resist a monastery? <laughs> or should I? doesn't sound like the wisest choice. Well, actually, can we can we lose this game? So we're at plus 18. Let's say they do get the triangle, which they should. Well, actually, they... I mean, it's only 50% chance, but it wasn't much more than that. So they aren't getting particularly lucky. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So... They will be at 31. I will be at plus 5. Let's say they get this as well. They get lucky everywhere. Uh, I could also, and they win this, so then they're at plus 10. Yeah, actually, I think Meepling the Monastery is not correct here. Uh, just because, like, I'm, I'm not getting it back in all likelihood, and I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 1... I was blocking a field connection with this move, just so that you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three tiles that fit here, plus some tiles that fit here. I think this is a decent move, even though it's worth zero points. Uh, with that move, I am actually... Um, Preventing them from connecting. Okay, so let's just go here. Try to prevent some sort of desperation tactic. Okay. 
There isn't any tile that fits over here. Okay, now that they made this. So you see, now I don't want to make this move because there will be a reconnect. One, two, three. And there's still a monastery, so I can wait for that. So I'd rather go here, just take the four points. And then still either wait for one of the two monasteries or for something else. Okay, they do get their stuff, which is amazing. Hmm. Could I lose this? So I need either a monastery or a curve or something, something. How do we act? Okay, let's let's go here. There is a bit of a rationale. Huh. Some nice quick points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still have four connection tiles. And like my opponent has z uh, one, two, three, four, basically zero blocking tiles as well. So it is coming eventually, but one, two, oof, to know about that. Well, actually, we can even calculate all the remaining tiles. So I think the tiles are regular monastery, road monastery, two curves, uh, s then the uh, triangle with the road, and then something else. And then that something else probably needs to be calculated. That's the crossroads, unless the big crossroads, unless the crossroads was discarded. Okay, I think I'll just gonna block the three point road then. Oh, great! I got all these guys, that's amazing! That's just amazing. Then we can just have it all for myself. Yeah, the crossroads was there. So that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, eight. Again, you see, I missed this curve because it has a meeple on it. And also because I'm playing the new design. But still, like, it was reasonably decent tile tracking. I, I miss this move. It, it's actually really, really good. It's really, really good. Although... And they're guaranteed to connect. I think it will be not enough for them, because I have this. And then they, we both connect. That's awesome. Yeah, well done, well done. Yeah, now we get this connection. So the tile that I forgot, I uh, didn't count, was this triangle. Oh well, yeah, that understandable why, why it made this move sort of a bit, a bit mindlessly, creating the se second field connection. But then also this was like almost 100% field connection anyway, because there were just so many tiles that fit here. So I think we win even without this field. The field is 18 points, right? Do we win plus 18 or more? Maybe we don't. Huh, That's that would be funny. Actually, maybe this was a bit closer than it had to be. I don't. I, th I think it's fine. I think the general strategy for this game was decent. I'm quite happy I resisted a move placing a monastery meeple. Plus 14. So I think we were reasonably safe. Because uh, if he takes a field and we don't take the field, then we have... Uh, there was a six-point field on the left that we could have scored as well. So I think we're going to be fine. BJ adaptation. Uh, yeah, some details must be fixed, like the notifications for the discarded tiles, for example. Let's actually do that. I 
don't know if there's anything else that you can think of. Well, uh, time controls are more, but... Alright, so we're at 282, which means that we're one game away from being officially brand a strong player. Oh, I didn't see what was their rate saying. Oh, I finished that turn-based game, so apparently they responded. Ah, that's where we got that extra rating from. Uh, wait, wait, let's just have a look real quick at our history before continuing. Uh, yeah, we did this. So how much did we get for that? 32. Okay, cool. And then how much did we get for actually yeah how what what was their player what was their rating two fourteen yeah as as I thought but they did fa find a good field connection in the end and they did make a few um, good moves all right final one for today alrighty it took us so oh let's go it took us a while to pair back but now we're actually gonna play a strong player so I think. Man, they're actually really good. I think they're like f at least 500, if not more. The question is, do they watch the channel? Do they watch the channel? I'm not sure. But we have the starting player advantage. Uh, oh, th oh, this is going to be fun. But we got to like treat this seriously. 400. Oh, okay, we're going to be fine. Um, they were 500 at some point for sure. And uh, we have the starting player's advantage, and hopefully they don't know who we are. <laughs> hopefully they're like, <laughs> get on tilt. <laughs> I know, it's, it, it's the most entertaining part of it. Also, if they... Ah, it was... Okay, interesting. It almost looked like they're stream sniping, even though I'm not streaming. So this is the best move over here, because I have equity to grab this piece. Exactly. And that's why they can't do... Well, I do think they still had to take this piece. Because now I'm threatening to block their meeple for nothing. Yeah, so what are you gonna do and uh i like this pattern over here i could start a new road like this try to threaten this but this is great because i need two curves and then i will get five points for three tiles uh which is 1.63 points per tile which is almost 1.67 points per dial which is almost like two tiles and you see now they also weren't aware to take weren't able to take these points um and also, there isn't anything that we could have done, although it would have been nice to block them like this. Now we're going to take two points, also put some pressure on this square. We are leaving an empty city cap, but that's okay, because their priority is still finishing this, rather than going here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Now, this is a good field. It's already uh, worth six points. It's going to be nine or probably twelve, and then we can get to... Um, well, that's a fantastic tile though for them. Get to, they get to prolong the roll. They they are getting a lot of city caps. Although I'm the first one with the monastery, and this is just the the best spot we get to control this. So now we can do here, here, here. But I think there's a stronger move, and this is I think a place where you do get two field meeples at the start. We have loads of meeples already. Um, these fields they're not connected. Yeah, yeah, that's understandable. There are only two tiles left that fit here, but there's still two tiles, and they're also making their own meeple vulnerable, and they're adding one point to myself, and they're not starting a city. So I'm getting, like, really adequate compensation. I could also actually block here, which would be annoying, but I still don't like the fact that there is one tile that um, left that could fit in this hole. But it's one too many, so I'd rather block here... Take two points and kind of pre-block this square, pre-attack that square. Um, yeah, and and then also I secured this square a little bit because I make it harder to attack this road. 
That's fine, they can block me, I will block them. It will be quite reasonable. So we now need the same tile in these spots. Of course, if, if I get a curve, I will defend. But it does look like, even if this meeple gets blocked, I will... I should have enough to control the game, I'm not sure. That's a strong move, they're blocking the blocking square, that's nice, good for them. Uh, now... We need to create a threat to block this, that's fantastic. I was about to say it's fantastic, but... But... There's a question, do we want to bother saving, because there's such a, such a juicy tile. And they could meeple this, then I could have this meeple blocked. Um, I, I think we do bother saving though. If they have a straight road or something. And they still need to defend this. Yeah, even though it's worth 4 points, they, should, they could still re-attack this city though, so it's not that valuable. I think it's fine to do this. Yeah, now, now they get to save. The question is, do they drop a farmer? They do. So they, so they are planning to get a second meeple there somewhere. Now, I could do a variety of things. I could go here, sort of trying to pre-attack this square a little bit. But it's, there's... Well, there's moderate utility in doing that. I could go here and then secure this square and pre-build this true, and then there's the risk of them meepling it. Or do we just meeple this ourselves? There's a 75% chance. Although 75% chance is not that good. And then I could just build this ruin. But it's not that type of game though. It's not a game which you win by building ruins. So I think if anything, this is the better move. <laughs> well, who would have known? And now, do I have to meeple this? In no likelihood, I probably do. Because I can't allow them to have a city cap. Look at that, and change of plans. Now we're, now we're having a big ruin. <laughs> I can still have this field with the one majority. By the way, the reason why I turned this uh, that way, this tile like this, is so that there would be fewer tiles with which my opponent could attack this piece of city over here. And initially I was planning to just wait for a city cap, drop a farmer, but now it's a good tile to do something like this, I think. Wow. So it's it's on, yeah? What about that, actually? One, two, three. It's, it's such a beautiful road. I could go here, which is normal. One, two, three, four, five. I could go here, which is like also... I mean, this this is good in the sense that it sort of secures this stuff, but this is so strong. Because I'm attacking this square, I'm also... Nah, it's, it's too good, it's too strong. It's a very long road. It's immediately a lot of points. And even though I only have one meeple, I'm gonna get one back soon. Mm, yeah, that's another dilemma, like whether I go here or here. I think this time connecting is better. And then now we have an opportunity to block. Of course, unfortunately, there's only three tiles remaining to get our bottom meeple back, but it's fine because we... I guess we can continue our road like this. We don't really have options. We can't attack this meeple. So I better just give myself a point. Yeah, that's, that's all that is. A point. They're, they're really asking for trouble here. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now that I can block them from both sides.
Still, I can just continue this road. That's it, yeah? I can't really block anything here. What if we go like this? Is that good? No, because I'm, ta I'm taking away tiles from myself. I think we should just do this and be patient. Uh, is this any good? No. Is this any good? If you have meeples. Okay, here we should protect, probably. Yeah, we should really protect. Here we really can't do much. I, th I think this is, a, this is a good move. Because it does add this indirect protection. Yeah, they get a fantastic tile. That is quite risky, but... Uh, you, we do get a meeple back. And you see, like, if they connect, then we can attack the city. Well, not... Why would they not do that? Okay. But then, uh, I'm gonna take four points, of course. And then if they finish the city, I just drop a second farmer there, and that's it. Or, as I said, when they connect here, then we just attack the city. There's only one divider. There are a few triangles. There are four triangles remaining, so we should do this. And just um, enjoy a game where we get a meeple to spare, and they concede. Which is, I guess, less interesting for you. Uh, it's pretty good for us. Because <laughs> uh, we do get quickly to this. And look at that, they gave 41 points for this player. I hope they think that they lost to some random 300. Uh, I don't think they should be conceding. Like they actually have ac equity in the game. They have they have stuff with which they can tile get tiles back. Like maybe they just got, I don't know, a bit tired. But let's say they have a path to victory, so they have to get this tile, uh, the one remaining, uh, the roads, and they put it over here. Then they have to take this. Then they put it over here to get this meeple back. Then they put a curve here. Then they get a meeple back, and they get this. Then they get a divider, drop under the farmer. Like, th there are ways how they can win. And then there's still triple cities to do this. So, if um, we're going to make this instructive, the thing that I'd encourage you to do is uh, to not concede games unless you have 0% equity, and they definitely had... Mm, more than that, but you know what? We'll take it. If they want to give away their like ten percent or whatever chance, well then we're gonna in this situation we're gonna win a hundred percent of the time instead of ninety percent of the time than we deserve. All right, see three twenty three. Uh, now what? Officially, I think we can be regarded as a strong player according to Board Game Arena. That's nice. I, I hope you learned something from this, and I'm going to see you in the next episode of Speedrun. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you soon.